Welcome back to the Let's Play Pokemon Silver with Pimi Manuel. Okay, so in the last episode, we defeated Gym Leader Sabrina, um, Gym Leader Blaine, and finally the last of the Gym Leaders, Blue. So now, we're here, um, deep in Union Cave, uh, battling Lapras. This was last Friday, I suppose. Just because I'm sure playing you wanted me to catch his Lapras. I guess a sense of completion. And luckily, it just went in on the first Ultra Ball, so. That's convenient. But there you go, Lapras. It ferries people across the sea on its back. It may sing an enchanting cry if it is in a good mood. Right. Now we should be at Vermilion City. Now after you get all the canceled gym badges, this guy here. Congratulations, you got all the canceled uh, gym badges. I got a reward for your efforts. HP up. Gee, thanks. Having Rider Pokemon Ty should give you an edge in battle. I'm sure the canceled gym badges will help you. And HP up. Thanks. Thanks a lot. But also while when you finish all the gyms. Go to Professor Oak. Wow, that's excellent. You collected the badges of gyms in Kanto. Well done. I was right in my assessment of you. Tell you what, Jimmy. I'll make arrangements so that you can go to Mount Silver. Mount Silver is a big mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. But we can make, but we can make an exception in your case, Jimmy. Go out to Indigo Plateau. You can reach Mount Silver from there, and then you defray to your Pokédex, which is highly unimportant at this point. You know, it's you know, great to Pokédex. Right now we're in Viridian City, in front of the Trainer House, the club for top trainer battles. And I'm sure all of you know what I'm doing here. Welcome to Trainer House. What's happening? Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I apologize. That was, that was on call for it. You know, text. It's boring. Text is boring. There's no speed up button. What's this gentleman doing here? Ooh, I'm taking a rest for Pokemon Battles. Okay. Um, important information. Hi, welcome to our trainer hall. You may battle a trainer once per day. Cal is your opponent today. Would you like to battle? Sure. Please go right through. You may begin right away. Thanks. Oh my gosh! It's my long lost twin! I traveled out here just so I could battle you. Why didn't you tell me this, Mom? Why? Alright, Pokemon Trainer Cal. Don't know what Game Freak was thinking, making him look exactly like you. But, you know. He has all three starters, all three Johto starters, at level 50 in their final stage. Now, Meganian is the first one, so if you have anything to counter any of the three, you're fine. I knew he was going to take a Meganian first, so, you know, P-Job, might as well, he's experience. So there goes Meganian. Typhlosion's next. Now I thought it'd be fun just to take out my Typhlosion. No. Could've just taken out Gyarados, but no. Typhlosion. Versus Typhlosion. The fans want to see it. Of course, mine has Dig. His does not. So, that easily. Well, actually, I think it was a. It does knock it out, but yeah, it's a critical hit. So not much epicness there if it's just one hit. It's more like a versus fail. But I take out my Machamp versus his Frogator. Because Machamp also needs some experience. Which is the main reason why I'm even in here battling Cal. So I go straight out for the cross chop. Screech 
fails. Kasha takes more than half of its health. Yeah. Now it just decides to finish it all with strength, but it slashes me before so. I think it's a critical hit, but it didn't help. As I still knock it out by throwing a big rock at it. Pokemon Trainer Cal was defeated. I lost, darn. Yep. You lost. Right. So here we go. From Radio City onto Route 22. Now, I don't have no max repels on, so I got really lucky. So I, I will always check for items, you know, make sure I don't miss anything. But yeah, that's. <laughs> that part right there was like the second trainer battle between, you know, red, blue, yellow. You know, rival battle, all that, you know you know that stuff. Right from here is the path onto Victory Road. But we will go straight onwards and I will take off my bike to make it more epic. Onto Route 28. Which leads to Mount Silver. Right, so right, that's where it starts. I put on a max repel really quickly. To make sure no Pokemon ruin the moment. And obviously I just go around looking for items like who was there was there. I'm sure I missed something. Aside from that. You now some decent Pokemon here. You can train really well. Better than Victory, I guarantee you that. Right, so you know I can find Tanglas, Dodrios, Dodios, Ponytails and Rapidashes, Sneasels at night. Dawn fans in gold you can find Earth Rings, I believe. You know the huge. Um Right, I I was thinking it's an item around here. I'm always crazy like it must be an item. If I don't get this item my game is gonna explode. Now I find the full restore. Okay, I could really use that. So, I know where that other path leads, so... I need Bell Sprout, so I get it really quickly, because I know I'm going to have to cut my way through this path. So, there's... The Bell Sprout has been really useful throughout my entire gameplay. Being the Flash and Cut HM Slave. Really, really useful. Right. Go this way for items like the rare candy, which will probably help me out, though I rarely use them. <laughs> rare, get it? No, not really. Don't have to. Oh dear, you found me. Please don't tell anyone about me. I'll give you this for keeping my secret. Please. I'm um, sure. Uh, that would be Steel Wing if I'm not mistaken. But, yeah. It's tough being a top celebrity. Everywhere I go, people chase me. I just want to be left alone. Well, you're alone. Fear, well, thankfully. Well, if you don't count Fear, Alright, so, here we are. In front of the cave entrance to Mount Silver. Right. So, right off the bat, it's black. So, this is where Bellsprout comes in handy. Now, I never used Rocky, I thought I might need him. Or some parts, but no, I don't need it at all. Alright, Mount Silver. Hmm. Good stuff in here. Escape rope. Hmm. Right off the bat, it's a good item. And I check here, and apparently it's an item. It's an X accuracy. Uh, I will also never use that. But hey, free items. Always welcome. And more rocks. Fascinating. Hmm. Now, during my second... Uh, once I reach where Pokemon Trainer Red is, there's a die hit. I will cut the video, telling you ahead of time. 
so that I won't have, you know, I will go back, deposit Bellsprout and Rocky, eventually Zinky, Zinking because I need Waterfall. Because you don't want me trying to fight Pokemon Chainer Red with a Bellsprout or you know, an Onyx. It's, it's just not going to happen. Unless you want to see that, but I'd rather not. So, during this this area that I am right now, apparently I'm going to have to go blindly through it. But don't worry, you won't see me do that. You'll see me right in front of red. That's all you care about, right? Right here we find the Ultra Ball, which also comes in handy. Later on in the video, which you will see. Right, so... Now this part is lit, you don't need flash for this area. Now I was really glad to find that out once I got there without flash. Now, I needed waterfall, so I went back. But when I came back into the cave, I found a lava tar. I'm like, oh, cool. I can get a Tyranita later on in life. It is born deep on the ground. It can't emerge until it has entirely consumed the soil around it. And it weighs like 160 pounds, so I don't know why something so tiny can weigh so much. In the anime, it just they make it seem like it doesn't weigh anything. But yeah. Items, items, items. Steam for items. And should be one item here. And it is a max revive. That I'll probably use. Yeah, I probably will use it. <laughs> right, that's another waterfall area up ahead. Repel, of course, I use another one. And let me tell you something that not a lot of people know. This area where I'm right now, in this path, is where I found my first shiny Pokemon when I was like, what, 8 years old? I found a shiny Golduck. And I was like, ooh, it has a red beak. It's a, it's a weird looking Pokemon. So I just ran away. And I horribly regret it. I ran away because it wasn't a male Pokemon. So I usually have a full team of male Pokemon. I'm not sexist or anything, it's just... I don't know, it's just... I ran away at that time. I, I'm just... I, I'm just mad at myself for running away. It was like my first shiny Pokemon. I could've at least bothered to catch it. But I had no idea what shiny Pokemon were. You know, I was... I was such a stupid little kid. But yeah. Here we go, the last area in the game this that is trainer red right there and I will battle him in the next video wow epic time right here so until next time Pima Manuel signing off where in the next video I'll be battling Pokemon trainer red stay tuned